Good morning! Nice to see you again on this beautiful Friday morning. Thought I'd start picking up the day by day vlogs again, so I'll take you through this weekend. Just about to head out the door to go to work. You'll see in the background, I got an espresso. I'm being strategic with these camera placements, by the way, because my place is a mess right now. I had company over the weekend and it's been a crazy week at work, so those are my excuses for being a slob. I'll show you my outfit. I It's very simple today. Fridays is not usually a lot of people in the office, so went for this all black fit. I got these like flare pants from Lululemon and a plain black bodysuit, but I have kind of spiced it up with some jewelry here and my jacket makes it a little more fun. And for the best part of this outfit, this jacket I got in New York about two years ago at Express and it is my favorite, but I feel like I never get the chance to wear it because it's just a larger print, so only for the all black fit. Good morning. It's like 10.30 and I just woke up. As you can see, I haven't slept in in so long, but I needed it as you can tell. I just sound like I'm dying. So, making myself a quick breakfast, then have a shower, get ready, and I have a day full ahead of me. I've gotten a little more ready now, had breakfast feeling alive. Um, now I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk. I have an appointment in Earl's Court just to do like a patch chest, test, patch test on my arm um, to get laser hair removal, so that's exciting. And then I'm gonna bring my book and my journal and maybe just find a coffee shop or walk around. It is so nice out today, so want to take advantage of that before slamming pints at the pub while watching the rugby game this afternoon. So, um, nice, easy, chill morning, which is much needed. Quick outfit, it is 10 degrees in February, so I get to wear my sunglasses and a super light jacket. This is like a September outfit back home in Canada, so I'm quite happy with this weather. I've been deceived. It is sunny, but so windy. So it's actually like freezing. I'm going home to change before walking to my rugby game. A couple hours later and I'm heading out now. I was just sitting here reading, made myself a little lunch and now headed to the pub to watch rugby game. I probably won't film anything because I'm going with a boy. So I'll see what I can update you on, but I am being taught how rugby works because I've never seen a game in my life, so it should be fun. Good morning, happy Saturday. Currently scarfing down avocado toast at six in the morning because I'm about to hop on the train to do a day trip to Cardiff, Wales, to see a rugby game. So, cheers, I'll take you along. Let's see if I can discreetly fit these in this. Here is the all black fit with my snake shin skin shoes. And we're off. It'll just take a while to settle, yeah. But... Oh. I think you stop now. Stop. <laughs> ah! You have to drink it! Drink it! <laughs> mm, 
you like it? Yeah, that's good. I need to cheer for both Wales and Scotland. Worst case scenario, Wales wins because Scotland beat England last week. So the like lowest amount of points Scotland can get, the better. So like Wales winning is fine, but like I bought a scarf that had about both. That's my update. <laughs> But you don't have Dragonville. <laughs> How was the game? Fucking good. But uh, the, the Welsh win, so. You know, Welsh winning is better than Scotland winning, so. Whatever. This is the queue for the pub. pub. Yeah. You wanna wait two hours for a drink? Because I don't. Honestly, tonight was kind of a mess. Um, the rugby game was amazing. I had so much fun like all day, but then just like getting home, getting back to London from Wales was a bit of a situation, but um, I'm just exhausted, so I'll update you guys tomorrow morning. Popping in here just to explain what happened last night. So essentially, um, a girl had our train tickets and we lost her. In Wales, she was at like some bar and her phones died and we like couldn't find her. So we ended up like sprinting to the train. We got on without a ticket, luckily, and the train was packed. Like we had seats, but we ended up having to stand the whole like two hour train ride because it was just so crazy. Um, but made it home safe, all was well. And the game was so fun. Like I'm definitely doing the exact same thing next year because that was like, seriously the best day the environment the atmosphere was so good those fans are even like more dedicated than like nhl hockey fans in canada which surprised me and they were very like friendly too like there's friendly banter between the two teams so didn't really matter who you were cheering for but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was scattered between weeks i really am trying to upload more so you'll see a week in my life coming up here and then my mom and I are going to Bruges in two weeks. So I'll take you through that too. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And comment what uh, your favorite sport is. Mine used to be hockey, but who knows? If I live in England long enough, it might change to rugby. Bye, guys.